Hello, in this video, we'll see how to create a new project in Visual Basic.NET IDE. Here we have Microsoft Visual Basic IDE 2010 Express Edition. You can go to File, New Project menu to create a new project. Or uh, as you have seen, uh, the shortcut was Control L. And you have uh, multiple types of projects to choose from. Uh, we usually use uh, Visual Basic, uh, uh, sorry, Windows Forms application or console application. First, we will try console application. I will write the name as console test. This would be our uh, project name. And also you can keep that for uh, solution name also. Solution is a group of projects possibly. And uh, now we have uh, a solution and inside that we have uh, a project. When you create a console project, by default you will get one module. Uh, module will be having extension .vb and uh, you will also have a project file. If you want to change project file attributes, uh, especially you, you need this when you want to pass some con command line arguments uh, in your academics. Um, and uh, uh, module by default will have a uh, sub procedure main uh, this uh, this is where you type all your application code um, uh, first we will just uh, uh, change uh, uh, the project properties we do double click the my project option or console test project name we'll get this window here we will uh, uh, have uh, uh, options to change assembly name uh, binary file or uh, compilation options different compilation options and uh, uh, com debug, opera, uh, debug options, you can uh, choose command line arguments or uh, you can uh, choose uh, working directory. Um, so this is, uh, there are many other things. Uh, you can explore uh, this project properties. And uh, uh, for the moment, I will just close this. Um, and as, as we have seen, uh, the sub procedure main is the a place where you type uh, all your source code uh, not entire source code but uh, 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 this is where the execution will begin and hence you can uh, 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 put your initial source code here uh, let us uh, write a line so dot write line welcome to vb.net now we can just run this to run you can go to debug and start debugging. Uh, the shortcut key is F5 or you can use this uh, uh, green button, green arrow. As you saw, the debug window just came and went. Uh, to keep the debug window, we can just add one more line, console.read line. Read line will wait till you press enter key. Now let us run this once again. So you can see welcome to vb.net. Now uh, let us see how we can create a, uh, a project with the visual interface, uh, basically graphical user interface. Uh, before that you can uh, save and close this project. If you want to save your project, you can choose save all. Uh, this will uh, save your project file and also uh, uh, the different source files. Um, the shortcut is Control Shift S. I will just click that. Um, I will keep my uh, project name as uh, solution name also. Console test. Just click, click save. Uh, as you have seen, the uh, default storage location for your projects will be uh, uh, Documents Visual Studio 2010 and Projects. This is where you uh, keep your source files by default. Now let us uh, close this uh, project. Close project. At a time you can use open usually one project. So let us, uh, uh, if you want to open the existing project, you can click uh, open project and you can choose a solution and uh, uh, actually uh, solution file and you can click open. This is how you open the existing project. Close it once again and create a new project with the uh, 
uh, graphical user interface for that you have to choose windows forms application and then uh, i will click uh, i mean i will choose the project name as windows test and click ok there you have a windows uh, forms application uh, by default windows forms application will have a one user interface uh, window uh, form1.vb that is the source file which is responsible for this window uh, this window will have both the usual uh, interface and also some code uh, if you want to add or change code you can uh, switch between them bit, uh, using solution explorer in the solution explorer you have an option to view code or to view designer uh, now just run this application and see what happens start debugging so if you just run this application after creation you will get this empty window and uh, uh, this is how we have created different projects the next video we will uh, uh, see how to uh, what are these different us uh, user interface elements which are available in uh, this vb.net uh, ide uh, there are many friends toolbox solution explorer properties window object explorer and many more uh, we will see them in the next video Thank you very much and see you.